Hi, this is a demonstration for the RSI Alert Plus uh, indicator from FX Algo Trader. Um, what we can see here is a cable uh, sterling US dollar weekly chart. Um, if we want to change the settings for the RSI Alert indicator, uh, we simply go to Indicator List, click on RSI Alerts. If we want to change, for example, the upper trigger level where an alert would sound, um, we can simply do so by adding or entering, uh, editing the number. So if we want the alert to trigger when uh, the RSI reading is above, say, 40, just put 40 in there, and hey, presto, the alert will trigger, as you can see. If we want to change the sound for the RSI alert, we can use any sound which is in our sounds folder in MT4. So if we look at our sound folder, we go to C, it will be in program files, mine's actually in a, another directory, but don't worry about that. So it'll be program files, I'm using ODL MetaTrader, so look for the name of your broker, go down to your sounds file, and any of these sounds can be used within um, the indicator. You, as it is an indicator, the sound file will have to be short, otherwise it will get clipped on the next tick. So use short, very short sound files. So for example, I've got uh, one called beep, one called tick. I can use, let's try beep for example. If we just look through here and we'll take a couple of mental notes about what's available. These are all very, these are quite long um, alerts with, with a, a spoken alert, synthesized spoken alert, but those sort just won't work. As soon as an, an incoming tick comes in, uh, it'll basically clip the the uh, WAV file, which is played by MT4. Um, but you can get away with any of the shorts, with the, you know, the very small and short sound files like tick, OK, etc. So I'm going to just show you an example of tick and the beep. Um, notice the casing as well; it's, it's case sensitive. So let's go back and configure the indicator, and we'll use beep first of all, beep.wav, it's important to cursor out of the actual field because often if you just press OK it will, so you can hear now, I'll turn it up a bit, there's a maximum alert, um, if I just change the time frame that will reset the alert counter, you can hear that beep. If we go back to the indicator list, change the beep to tick. Again, case sensitive, so you've got to watch it. And that's ticking. But if we use, if we use, um, if we use files which are much larger. I'll show you what happens there. So um, let's have a look for. Let's go for DPV3 PP alert, and I'll show you what happens if you use long files. So it's just, alert. Just, so it's just. It's just clipping. That's, forget about that alert that just popped out. That's for another product, a range analyzer product. Um, you can hear it's just, just kind of making a muffled sound because the web file is too big to be played. Getting the alert being triggered, the visible alerts being triggered, but the web file is just so big. As soon as it starts playing, it gets clipped as the next tick comes in. And that's just a limitation with with MT4 on the indicator side with expert visors. You can run any um, length web file you like because you can actually slow down the program um, control using um, sleep commands. But with indicators, you can't you can't slow them. Um, so make sure that any web files you use are nice and short. I'll just have a see. I'll like to see if there's another one we can we can show you. Um, if I look at the actual web file in, in detail as well. Um, I'll just look at the uh, details. Oh, 
details in Africa. Let's look at the size. So you can see these really small ones like beeps 23k. Um, all these little files will be fine, but anything big. So that DPV3 alert that I played you that, that was pretty large, um, you know, in the hundred over 100k type thing. Yeah, it was well, it was 91. And it was too long. So that's the key. Make sure the file's really short that you're going to play. Um, let's try OK because OK is 3K. Um, let's go back with OK in. Okay, so if you want to save the whole lot as a template, go to Charts, Template, and then Navigate. Oops. If you navigate up to save template, and we'll call it uh, RSI sound, save that. And if we start open up a new chart and then load the template. actually accidentally press the wrong button there but hang on a second RSI sound so there you go and it's remembered our lowered RSI trigger level and also our OK um, sound file so there you go that's that's how you configure the RSI indicator to work with um, different WAV files. Thanks for, thanks for watching.